So guys, we're back out magnet fishing again today. Um, the weather's not been the best the past week, so we've not been out for a while, but we're back out now at a new location and it looks good. So uh, we're gonna see what we can find. As you can see, Dad's taking the magnet to the vines. Soggy hand all day. <laughs> I can't get out. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> As you can see, that looks a bit like a bullet shape and I think that's a bullet. What do you reckon, Dad? Bullet? Be small if it is. Yeah. It's like nine millimetre. Something small, isn't it? it does, actually, it's pointed, isn't it? it I don't know what colour that is again. Probably one of those you found last time. I've just found this in the river. Somebody's Barclay card. There's a name on there, but we'll destroy this. Cause... The bullet has got like little grooves in it, look. Like right, like proper grease grooves. Grease grooves, as they call them. Interesting. I'm not going to show you the name or the numbers on this, but the card that Dad found is valid from the 10th, 1998, till the 12th, 2000. That's been in there a while. That's been in there longer than I've been around in myself. Okay, I don't know what I've got here. It looks like it's a copper cable, I think. Armour cable, is it? Oh dear. It's about 50 feet of cable there. No, it's not. It's, 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 a, it's an electrical pole, some um, high tensile cable, isn't it? What they used to. That's um, nylon wire, isn't it? Oh, he's even found himself a nice comb. Come on, now, let me brush your hair. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that! Look how long it is! <laughs> now you've got to go and apologise to them why their electric isn't working. <laughs> it's a high tensile electrical cable. How long is it? It's not electrical cable, it's, it's actually a uh, high tensile cable that they use for like pole supports and things. What do we do with that, George? Um, Strap it. I thought it was rope to start with, or cable. I thought it was cable, and I thought it was rope. I don't think it's copper cable. <laughs> if it was copper, we'd do. Okay, we've done the best with that. We'll pick that up on the way back and that will be scrapped. Okay, I found this little lot. They look like some pipes. I think that's a drain spout. And uh, this big pipe. The camera lady wants me to make a, a sausage dog out of this. She's easily pleased. <laughs> I've just found the handle of an old bucket. Yeah. Oh, that's not 
Yeah, I've got a bag. Bags are always exciting because you never know what's in there. And first off, what's this? Looks like an old air filter, I think. Is that an air filter? No, I don't think it is. It's not one of the uh, the old air air aid siren uh, screamers, is it? I don't know. They're really heavy. Don't think there's anything in here. No. I don't think that was just dragged in. That'll go in the bin. Okay, I have got a mystery object. I don't know what this is. I really don't know what this is. It's a mystery. Looks like there's a bolt in this end and it's been attached to something, but don't know what that is. Thought it was the end of a pipe or something. Um, that flopped open but I don't think it is I think it's solid that is it's all cast as one fairly big get it in Chimney. <laughs> That'll make a good uh, chimney for one of those stoves, George. Yeah, it would, not it? About right size. As you can see, I've got myself a new multi-tool. Obviously not new, but it's a nice one. Should just open right up. Oh, it broke there, unfortunately. There's all the little attachments. Obviously, they probably won't cut them out, but I've got on that side. There should be knives on that side. Not bad. So then, I think I've found myself a washing line post, as you can see. That is, uh, I say that you washing line a tie onto these, and you'd have one going that way, one going that way, and one going that way, and one going that way. And that'd be in the middle of it all. So, uh, yeah, that's a washing line post. About seven foot long, well, probably not seven foot, maybe seven foot. A bit taller than me. But yeah, washing line post. So then we've got this thing. I think that is the thing that goes around a horse's leg, or its hoof bit. Around the back it has like a little thing. Uh, like as a hoof protector. I'm not sure. I think that's Dad, what Dad said it is. Interesting. Okay, we've gone a bit further down the river and we've found this lot. Just uh, pulled these out. I think these are two bits of an old Victorian cast iron bed. That's Don't know what this is. There's sort. actually a coin stuck to this. Look, look at this. Coin. Yeah. And... Don't know what that is. And then we found this. What's that? I don't oh, know. That's, um, Just is it threaded on the end? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a gate hinge, I think. I think it's a hinge that yeah, screws no, in. No, that would have been, in, yeah, through a post or... Is it threaded? I don't think it is, but... Yeah. Like so we're well. finding a few bits and pieces sure now. That bit is. Quite interesting. It's solid. It's like a handle. Handle to what? I don't know. It's sort of handle size. Okay, I've got something, I think. Getting a little bit more exciting now because we've not found a great deal, we've come quite a long way and found very little, which is how it is. You can't always find it, so uh, you never know what you're going to find. So, what we got? Oh, we've got an iron. <laughs> I've got an iron, George. Oh, very nice. Oh, sadly lacking its handle. They all come out without the handle. It's a shame, yeah. 
Old, uh, a lot of them that we've found have not had the handle. Cast fire iron. Oh, you might be needing that. Yeah, so. The of electric going up in the evening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, anyway. First good find, really. That's uh, the first old find. Okay, we've just got this. Another mystery item. I should say, well, I thought it was a pipe joiner, but it's it's got this on the end, so... Whether it's for capping a pipe off. Big heavy piece of cast iron, I think. Quite unusual. I'll take this off. Yeah, I'm not sure now because it's got these like flutes that go around this. So I should I would say that this turned inside of something. I'm not sure what it is. Just found this, this looks uh, quite interesting. It's got this ball on the end and it's, it looks like it's twisted. I don't know what it would have been. Not dissimilar to the poker we found the other week, but it's not very heavy. It's got this ball terminal on the end of it. So in the pot we go. Stones on there. Anyway. Okay, George is stuck on the tree. And I've got something big here. So <laughs> I'll see if I can get this out while he's doing that. Seems heavy. Oh, what have we got? Can't see it. Oh. Big long pole. Yeah, that's a big one. Just don't know how I'm going to get this back to the road. <laughs> that poor, poor trolley's about had it. Oh, I've got a plate. <laughs> An old enamel plate. Made in England. Oh, hang on, is it a lid? <laughs> no, I think it's a lid. <laughs> well, it was a plate. It's a lid off something. Yeah, not sure what it's off, but... What's it say on it? Sunny can. Sunny can? Hmm. I've got a file. Done? Yeah. Another half round file. What have we got? It's heavy. Can't see what it is. Oh, it's a box. Is it a box? It's a box. It's an ammunition box. Is it? Yeah. I think. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a safe box, isn't it? Like a cash box at the bottom of oh, it. Oh, oh, like a car park machine. Yeah, something like that. Oh, no, it's like a slot machine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Look, it's got a like plexiglass screen. Yeah. Well, it's like a vending machine, I should think, for cigarettes or something. Yeah, and they cut the top out of it to get the uh, money out. I wonder if there's anything left in it. Quite literally cut it off. I wonder if you could get your bar in there and just prise it open. Yeah. Crazy. I've got a super dog chain as well. Maybe like a little cigarette machine. The dog chain. Go get the, the pry bar. We'll open it. So, 
Honestly, I don't know why they didn't. They made them very strong, didn't they? <laughs> See, I don't, I don't know why they didn't just leave them in the river for twenty years and then. Yeah. You know, it just ate them up easily. Yeah. We've gone to the trouble of cutting yeah. that up. They've just tipped it all out. <laughs> just tipped it out. No gemstones in that one. Says that, you know. We'll put that through the sieve and we'll see if there's anything in it. Okay, I've just found this. This is like an old um, ring brooch or a ring buckle. That's 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 really old. Yeah, I like that. We'll put that one safe. Not more of that bad, surely. No, is it an axle? No, I think it's an axle, isn't it? the brakes. Yeah, that's, a, that's an early one. So it's got brass hubcaps, look. Yeah. Are they brass? Yeah, what, they are. What would it have been off? A little trolley. Zimmer free. One P. I think, I think this is a, a pulley, I think. Or is it? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a pull start. Yeah, you would have wrapped your pull start around there because there's the slot for the cord. Okay, I think I'm on something here. This is a, quite a deep part of the river here. It's certainly deeper than where we've been fishing. Ooh, what's this? It's deep. Oh, what have we got? I see something like... Oh, we've got two things. Three things. Oh, I've got a frying pan. <laughs> yeah, what's that? It's an old enamel tin, look. Yeah. I think it's got like a little bit of a scallop there. Pour in the contents out. Don't know what that age this is, it, it looks um, doesn't look that modern. So it's been in there a while. And just a pole and what looks like a sign. Okay, I've got another one of these uh, Looks like a nail, but it's it's actually like a round-ended ended pin, I think. It's a bit unusual. Sure, it is. Put that on the good pile. What will it be? Oh. What's that? That. I was looking at this, but it looks like a whistle, doesn't it? Like a whistle, like or a flute whistles. Or a fiddle or something. <laughs> I thought this was a missile. <laughs> Is that a piece of solid bar? Yeah, completely solid. Yeah, can't get it off. Whoa, that's heavy. That's a piece of 50 mil solid bar. Got your present, Dad. Oh, your beauty! Look at that. Yeah, that is Another axe. Wow. Well, probably a murderer. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fairly modern. Well, I say modern. It's not. That isn't modern. Ma made within the last two, or, two or three hundred years, as opposed to two thousand years. Yeah, great find. Well done. What have we got here? Oh, that's oh I've got a hammer. <laughs> what? 
very nice. Got some tools then. Got a hammer and an axe. And a load of nails. On a, on a dog colour. Oh, got another hammer. Another hammer. There's a lot of tools coming out just here again. Cool, that one looks like it's been in there a long time. Look at, look at all the rust on that. Two hammers. Breaking the golden rule of never hit two hammers together. <laughs> Made of very hard iron. Yeah. yeah. They've definitely got some age to them, those. That have been in there a long time. Too bad. Okay, everyone, we've had a, a, an interesting day today. We've gone miles and we've got a huge trolley full of scrap. We have indeed. Uh, we've found one or two bits and pieces. Uh, not not overly exciting compared to the last few weeks, but uh, we, we've certainly dragged a few interesting bits and pieces out of the river today and uh, had a really good clean up. So we've got to go a long way back now to the road to take all this back to, to where the scrap man's gonna pick it up. So, uh, but it's been a beautiful day. It's nice to be out in a beautiful part of the river. It is absolutely stunning down here. So it's uh, really pretty. So uh, we've had a good day. So anyway, till the next time, take care everyone. And uh, we'll look forward to you on the next video very shortly.